so Paul, we have these these stars really concentrate into this disc. We're perfectly in the middle. We're a little bit towards the edge. But what about beyond our galaxy? What about more than all these other stars? Well, this was a big question. We'd eventually figured out that we lived in this flattened disk of stars, but are there other flattened disks of stars out there beyond us, or is this the entire universe? Well, cover, I mean, Herschel, as you said, called it the island universe, that this was it. So how did we figure out, or how did we go about finding whether there's more than just our Milky Way? Well, if you look up or down out of our galaxy, it's rather hard to look sideways because we're blocked by all the dust clouds, yep. as we both spin and <laughs> know very well. But if you look up and down, what you'll see is a few of the stars as you look up or down. Mm -hmm. But looking beyond that, we see lots of these fuzzy things. These are called the spiral nebula. Nebula just meant fuzzy, fuzzy things. Fuzzy things, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and these actually look, let's zoom in on one of these things. These actually look a lot like we imagine our own Milky Way to look like. Yeah, it's, it's fairly disky, it's fairly concentrated and kind of squashed a little bit more towards the centre. Yep, and when people were able to measure the distance to these things, which is a whole saga in itself we talk about at great length in one of the other courses, we discovered these things are about the right size. They're about you know, 30, 40,000 light years across, only a few hundred light years thick. So in fact, these look very much like our own Milky Way galaxy. So what we're seeing here is other galaxies. So these are other galaxies beyond our own, but we think are similar in shape and size to our own Milky Way. That's right. So if we lived in a star in here, um, and in the mid-plane, two-thirds of the way out, what we'd see in the night sky would look very much like what we see on Earth. And then if they looked outward towards our galaxy, they would see a fuzzy island universe over here. Something that might look like this. Now, the benefit of looking at other galaxies is not being in the middle of them. It's like seeing the forest for the trees. You yes. can actually see what they overlook like. And the clearest thing is that these are disks. Yep. But often when you look at them face on, but not always, they show a spiral pattern like this. Okay. This is why they were called spiral nebulae. And these are really beautiful things. You can definitely see these arms apparently spiraling in and out. And some galaxies appear to have more arms or more structure and less arms and less structure. Yes, and it also depends a bit which wavelength you look at. Okay. So if you look at the spiral arms here, you see that they tend to be rather blue. Yep. What's actually happening is these are not physical things. It's not like some spiral shaped thing that's <laughs> rotating. What's happening is as the stars move around the middle of the galaxy, sometimes they speed up and slow down. And when they're slowing down, they all concentrate. Yep. And then that concentration also squashes all the gas together, producing giant molecular clouds. And we know what happens then. then they form stars. And some of these stars are very massive O and B type stars. Which shine. Shine very bright as blue colours. And they also produce other fainter stars, but those fainter stars will last a long time, so they will go, keep on wandering around the galaxy for long after the spiral arm has gone away. But you tend to see these rings of giant molecular clouds and these rings of blue, because the really massive stars only last a short time. So it's a bit like water waves. You see those waves rolling into the beach yep. endlessly. And it's not actually the entire ocean coming in. That's right. Otherwise it would pile up and up in the beach, the beach would be underwater. If you look at any particular particle of water, it moves in some sort of in and out pattern. That's right. And it's the same for the stars. The stars aren't moving around a solid spiral arms. They're sort of moving backwards and forwards. Sometimes they concentrate and we call that a spiral arm. Sometimes they relax and okay. it's not. So how about if we look at these things more edge on? We can see they are pretty thin. Yep. If you look at our own galaxy in the infrared, our own galaxy is pretty thin with a thicker bit in the middle, which is called the bulge. But we also saw that kind of some of the other galaxies, there appears to be a bit of a thicker bit in the middle. That's right. And if you look at an edge-on galaxy, this is a Hubble Space Telescope image of an edge-on galaxy, you can see there's a really thin layer of dust and gas right yeah, in the middle. Yeah, it kind of middle. looks very similar to what we see in our own Milky Way sky. And then the stars, which are spread out by a few hundred light years, maybe a thousand light years vertically, and fade away gradually as you go up and down. So again, it's looking very much like our own galaxy. So we really, so we're starting to think that the galaxies have fairly similar structures in both terms of how they exist, but also, I guess, how they're formed and come together. It seems to be a class. Yeah. So we call them, I like to call them disk galaxies rather than spirals. Yes. Because some of them have spiral arms, some don't, but they all have this that disk. disk. Um, and they, so the characteristics are they're you know, a few tens of thousands of light years in radius. They've got a thick bit in the middle called the bulge. They're only a few hundred light years thick. Um, some of them show a pattern like this. Yeah, so this isn't a spiral. What we, call, we call this a bar, right? Yeah, so in the middle, there might be a spiral on the outsides, but in the middle, there's what we call a bar. 
So how is the bar form compared to, say, the other spirals? Is, is it a similar way? Well, we'll talk a bit about like, the orbits of stars and these things, but it's not as simple as like a solar system where everything just goes in a nice orbit around yep. the middle of the galaxy, because most of the mass in the galaxy is not in the middle, it's in other stars. Okay. And so you can get some rather complicated orbits. Okay. And things do, from most disk galaxies, revolve around the centre, but they can revolve and oscillate in and out and up and down at the same time. And in some galaxies, they'll start having an orbit which goes up and down the bar. Ah, uh, okay. And uh, several of our colleagues spend their lives analysing these rather complicated <laughs> orbits. Well, what about the Milky Way? Does the Milky Way have a bar? Well, we actually think so. So there's another barred uh, galaxy. NGC um, 1365, one of my favourite galaxies. It's so beautiful. And here we've got um, what the European Southern Observatory thinks our own galaxy looks like. And we believe it gets rather hard to tell from where we are trapped in the middle two-thirds of the way out. Because we can't take a picture, obviously, of our whole galaxy. Uh, yeah, it's nice if there was a big mirror up the top and we could take a photograph of it, but there isn't, damn it. One day, maybe. <laughs> so... Uh, what we believe from careful star counts is that where we are, that ours is a spiral galaxy. There are spiral arms around, okay. All right. well, like the Orion spiral arm yep. and so on. People have tried to come up with maps of these things. They're not very well defined. They sort of break apart and have interarm. Yeah. Uh, but it gets then, messy. When you get further in, it does seem that there's a, a bar. Okay. And in fact, what we call that bulge, that thicker bit in the middle, is actually our view of the spa, most likely. Oh, uh, okay. So instead of it being just one circular ball, it actually is kind of a, that projection effect, right? By being in the middle, we're really seeing the built-up bit of this bar looking more bally rather than more barry. That's right. And there is actually a bulge as well, yes. which is probably created by stars in these funny orbits piling up in the middle.